me a hug. I'm hungry, Mark. <laughs> Don't cut last week. What was it like to run this last two to three hundred miles with two people that you're pretty close with, with, with Ryan and Richie and you all in the front? Uh, it was competitive for sure. I mean, we kind of had been in the, around each other since um, Nikola, I guess, or the whole race basically. But then we kind of separated ourselves out in front by Keltag and um, yeah, it was it was very competitive and uh, yeah, I don't know, just. You know, congrats to Ryan and it was a heck of a race. Richie's still behind you, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Check. <laughs> is there any one particular dog that has stuck out during this race for you? Uh, you know, they, they all did great. Even the ones that went home early uh, did, did their share. And uh, These ones here obviously are really spectacular. Um, the two leaders up there led a lot. Uh, the one named Delmer, who led, I think, 990 miles. He was out for... 10 miles, I think, so he's pretty special, but there's a lot of, lot of them in here that are really good, and I'm proud of them. What does it mean to show up here and have your family waiting for you? It's, yeah, it's awesome. It's motivating and all that good stuff to, you know, have, have, have the support that I have and, and be able to get here and enjoy it with, with other people. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the same if you were enjoying it by yourself. Did you have any idea they were coming to Grayling to meet you? No, I did. that was a surprise, so it was kind of cool to see my wife there. And, uh, Rich's wife Emery and their baby, so yeah, and my father-in-law.